James's ass. Kevin Love started gangbanging in UCLA, <laughs> yeah. and his main henchman was Russell Westbrook. How the hell Carmelo Anthony ain't top five? I'll tell you this right now. LeBron James is 10 times better than Michael Jordan ever was. Oh, Steve, Steph Curry sucks. How the hell does Stephen Curry suck? We fucking suck this year. I can't take it anymore. You don't even have Melo as a, a 90? going on guys it's steve we're about to watch some kind of conspiracy video now i watched one from this guy before like a, a year ago him saying oh lebron's a robot or whatever let's just see how this thing plays out greetings my brothers this is sean blazington and today i'm going to give you all of the facts and details of why lebron james is scared for his life He's made plenty of enemies in his career, but recently he pissed off the wrong people. His LA house was broken into and they spray painted racist things all over his house. But don't think for one minute that this was done by ordinary people. Ordinary <laughs> people can't even shake LeBron James' hand, talks, let alone get into his house. So he wouldn't even let funny. John Legend shake his hand. That goes to show how much LeBron James hate ordinary people. What I am telling you is that the people that broke into LeBron's house are connected in the entertainment business, and not only do I know who they are, I know exactly why they did it. Kevin Love and Kyle Culver both have a hard time bowing down to the king, and Dan Gilbert doesn't like the fact that LeBron James is the leader of these two individuals. It says here that Larry Bird and Jerry West had a meeting with Phil Jackson and Dan Gilbert to discuss LeBron James' arrogance and what they can do collectively to keep him in his place. But all hell broke loose when LeBron James got David Black fired, only to be replaced by a brother named Tyron Luke. David Black is still embarrassed to this day because he lost his job to a guy named Tyrone. This didn't sit so well with Adam Silver, but LeBron James bring the league a whole lot of money, so they didn't punish him, but they punished his best friend instead. It says here in my documentation that, do my man that Melo Pat Riley like that? is hell-bent on destroying LeBron James. He even went so far to bribe NBA players to punch LeBron James in the face, but they all declined. You know, there's one thing to be successful, and there's another thing to be black and successful. And there's a completely whole nother thing to be black, successful, and arrogant. And that's why the NBA hired someone to take care of LeBron James's ass. Kevin Love started gangbanging <laughs> yeah. in UCLA, and his main henchman was Russell Westbrook. <laughs> yeah. They were dope boys. They would call Kevin Love Nino Brown, and they would call Russell Westbrook the stud of man. <laughs> Kevin Love was so gangsta, he showed up to his prom dressed up like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber and nobody even laughed. Kevin Love gets plenty of love in the hood. LeBron James is known for yelling at his teammates on and off of the court, but he met his match when he decided to yell at Kevin Love. LeBron James has no clue that Kevin Love is a hitman hired by the elites to take LeBron down. Everything was going according to plan until Kevin Love found out some things about LeBron James that changed his life. Remember the movie Conan? He was a white guy, then he found out that James Earl Jones was his real father. Or what about the movie Star Wars? Luke Skywalker found out that his real father was Darth Vader? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have proof and documentations that prove without a shadow of a doubt. When it comes to Kevin Love and LeBron James, LeBron is Kevin Love's father. This information sent shockwaves all throughout the league, not because LeBron James is Kevin Love's father, but because everyone thought that Dan Gilbert was Kevin Love's father. Come to find out, LeBron has been sleeping with Dan's wife, and that's the reason why he went to Miami never be able because to date the a girl relationship that big, was getting yo. real hot and heavy. I know you're thinking Kevin Love and LeBron are around the same age, but look at LeBron James. There is no way he's only 32. <laughs> LeBron James is a lot older than you think he is, and he has plenty, plenty of enemies in the NBA. And now that Kevin Love refused to annihilate his own father, they hired another hitman that goes by the name of Kyle Culver. He's like the Terminator 2. 
He's the one that spray painted all of that racist stuff in LeBron James's house. I have pictures of him in the act. No one knows about this besides me, my sources, and J.R. Smith because J.R. was coming by to see LeBron James and that's when he saw Kyle with the spray paint but he's in fear for his life so he's not going to say anything. LeBron James is on his way out of the door. This will be his last NBA Finals and they will not win this NBA Finals. LeBron James has rubbed too many people the wrong way, starting with Dan Gilbert, Dwayne Wade, plenty of his oh, teammates, him and boys. just about everyone that LeBron has came across, he has left a bad taste in their mouth, including Kevin Love's mother. And you guys shouldn't be surprised that Kevin Love is half black because if he wasn't, he wouldn't be able to pull off that handshake the way he does it. He would not be able to do that ghetto gangster <laughs> handshake if he wasn't half black. You don't see Cal Carver trying to do that handshake. He doesn't even think about it. You never seen those guys give Cal Carver the ghetto gangster handshake. That handshake looks like those guys are on a step team. The only thing that's missing is the braids and the beads. The only other person I know that can pull off that handshake is my little sister. LeBron James is too old to be doing those drill team handshakes with his teammates. What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> the, the dude is funny. Obviously, this isn't supposed to be taken serious. But this dude is actually funny as hell. Like, when do you find someone that's actually funny on YouTube? Like, he created the music, the pictures he uses. <laughs> Could you imagine, though? Kevin... <coughs> Kevin Love really seems like the type of dude to be like a mafia, you know, boss and then like have Kyle Corver as the hitman. <laughs> that would be crazy, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I've seen the last one that I've seen from this guy was that robot video where he thinks LeBron James is a robot or whatever the hell. Whatever. That was a pretty entertaining video. I don't know how I found that. It was in my recommended and I was like, what the hell? So I just decided to watch it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Let's see what games are on tonight, by the way. Today's Friday. San Antonio versus Toronto. Pretty boring because uh, Kawhi is not playing. Miami versus Brooklyn. Yeah, no. Uh, Detroit, Washington, John Wall. There's really no game. Oh, my next play to Utah Jazz. Light work. Yep, that's no games on tonight. It's Friday. Anyways, being man, Steve. I'm out. Peace.